Well, as most of you know who watch the channel, you know that I have invested in a Hudson Star greens mower for my putting green. Now I'm up here at John Perry's house, checking out his putting green, comparing notes and seeing how his is doing. And we have a special guest here today and have to take the opportunity to introduce you to Brian Hudson from Hudson Star Greens Mowers. So I wanna talk to him, find out a little bit about the history of the company and maybe a little bit about what's next. Here we go. Well, like I said, we've got uh, Brian Hudson here from Hudson Star Greens Mars. Thanks for making the trip out to Utah. Well, thanks. I, I actually enjoyed uh, getting a chance to golf with you guys today. And uh, it's just, it makes me a little uncomfortable when you come out and you actually make you embarrass other people as you play golf. <laughs> uh, but but it, was a, it was a good time. Yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. So tell, tell the people a little bit about the, the family history and the history of the company a little bit. Give them a little bit of insight into how things got started for you. Yeah, so we, uh, we actually had um, a manufacturing company for, for about 70 years. My grandpa started it and actually worked for Allison's during the war, building military parts. And then in the 1980s, we switched over to uh, military work almost completely. And then in the 90s, my dad and all my family loves golf. And so uh, my dad uh, started to engineer and develop what he wanted to be a, a greens mower for people that wanted to put their own putting green in, right? And he wanted it to be something that lasted a long time, that was easy to maintenance, uh, because the, the world of golf is just everything's so expensive. Yeah. But he wanted something that had the quality of, of a professional cut. And so over the years, we just kind of grew as a family business and the brothers, the nephews, the grandsons have all worked there building mowers. And so uh, all of a sudden in the last few years, we've just started exploding and selling mowers all over the place. That's awesome. And for those of you watching this who don't have a putting green like this in your backyard, that's okay. But if, if you are interested in doing something like this, having a product on the market like, like this here just makes it so much easier and for me at least my putting green is half the size of this one maybe even less than that and having something like this that i can i this is my mower i brought it here i literally picked it up and put it in the truck in the back seat yeah and, it's it's 84 yeah. about 84 87 pounds it, it easily uh you can pick it up you can put it in a truck uh put it on a gator the other thing is is that the handlebars flip over mm -hmm. which allows you to roll it uh on the back rollers uh, across rock anywhere you need to get it uh it'll it'll go up hills pretty easy and so uh yeah it's it's easy to transport and and it, it definitely is something that allows people to, to be in that market, right? Whether it's a green, whether it's a pitch, whether it's just a, a very, very manicured low cut lawn. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's great. So how, is the, how has the mower evolved since the company started? <laughs> Yeah, when we first started it, uh, it was a it was a different product, uh, uh, metal uh, uh, rollers on the back, and um, it, it has it has changed over the years of trying to perfect it so that uh, the ease of mow, right, the the torque in the back wheels. Uh, one of the things that we try to do is, is we'll take videos where we'll flip it on its side and just barely take our fingers and just move that, those back rollers and the, the reel starts to spin. Mm -hmm. uh, we, started out, we started out with uh, uh, metal grass catchers and then we went ahead and, and developed our own mold uh, and started having our, our grass catchers molded. The reels uh, have gotten better and, and we just keep making adjustments to it. One of the things too, about our mower that's so easy to use uh, compared to buying something else is the single point height adjustment. Mm -hmm. So that you can mow a green and then do a quick adjustment to, to do your fringes and it's just not something that's out there. Yeah, that's true. So what's next? What? What's on, yeah, what's we're, on the pipeline we, that, that you're willing to share? And well, again, over the last two years, this has exploded so much. Um, we have uh, started making just upgrades to the engineering side of it uh -huh. uh, to continue to, to make it more true. Uh, but we, we're getting ready to roll out our, our eight blade reel. Uh, and that's really for, for people who want to mow uh, a, a plot of land on an area 
uh, at about a half inch and up to an inch. We're getting ready to re-engineer it so that it will it will start at about a half inch and, and go up to an inch and inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Uh, so we want to do that. We want to keep adding pieces to it in, in the sense of we want to get a brush on there. We'll ultimately uh, develop and engineer a, a cartridge system for the for it. Uh, we've talked about uh, putting on a small motor uh, to be able to, to have the, the reel uh, move. Uh, as we as we go on, we're we're adding some swag, uh, as John would say, uh, to our program. We like the Hudson Star brand. We like that American-made family business, mm -hmm. long-lasting type of product. Yeah, and it's it's a good product. I I love having it, and and like I said, for for the size of the putting green that I have, it doesn't feel like I need anything bigger. Mm. What do you do to uh, when you get done mowing? Mm -hmm. What I mean, how do you clean it off? I mean, what do you what do you do to it? I hit it with a leaf blower. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and if 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 I happen to mow and it's it's wet or even enough to it's wet enough for it to get sticky, I just spray it down with the hose. Yeah, and then I hit it with the leaf blower and dry it off a little bit. Yeah, we we we'll always tell people yeah a leaf blower or just spray it with a hose and then WD forty that your reel. Yeah, uh, so it keeps the the uh, open part from rusting. Yeah, over time and and they stay sharp for a long time. Yeah, I haven't had I haven't backlapped it yet. Yeah, um, and I've mowed countless times. Yeah, um, probably for me. I mean, I'm not as aggressive as John mowing sand. <laughs> uh, yeah, but maybe once a year backlap. Yeah, that's that's for about me, anyways. That's I mean, about what anybody else's mileage may vary, but yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what we tell people is usually if you're a home user, uh, you're probably going to backlap it once a season. If you do a lot of top dressing like John does, uh, you're you're looking at maybe twice twice in a season. But mm -hmm. the nice thing is is not having to tear into it, tear it apart take it somewhere and then have to pay to get it ground. Right. No oil, no, no gas. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's simple. All, it's simple. And it's green in a, in a world that is looking for green mm -hmm. products. This is totally green. Yep. If you do the research and you look on the website, you'll see there are professional golf courses using your lawnmowers. Yeah. And it's tipped, uh, in the last, in the last two years, uh, quail hollow now has, I think six, and they also keep inventory now to make sure that they're maintained. Uh, TPC Scottsdale, Scott Herbert uh, out, out, in, out in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, they own three and they bought them before the, before the tournaments a couple years ago. Uh, Oak Hill, that's gonna be doing the PGA Championship uh, next year, has just bought their third. Uh, Torrey Pines, uh, Stream Song, Victoria National, I mean, they're, they're uh, TPC Boston, mm -hmm. they're everywhere, Trump National. Yeah. yeah. So did you ever expect the brand and the business to, to end up where it is now? N no, uh, this was always kind of a labor of love for us. It was something that we enjoyed doing, uh, but as it grew and as we realized that, that this had the opportunity, that's when we kind of stopped all other work and just started pouring uh, everything we had into building mowers. And once uh, John, you, and others started getting a hold of it on YouTube, right? People started getting interested. Yeah. And now people understand it, and we have more calls, more inquiries, more orders uh, than we've been able to keep up with uh, for the moment. We, in fact, we sold out of our 2022 inventory by June. And so, but we've got product back on the shelf again and, and going. So, yeah, we're, we're excited. We're excited about where this thing goes. Uh, we've just started. Yeah. Right. That's the fun part. That is, the fun is that part. we've tipped but we're just starting so for anybody wanting to get into that's maybe considering a backyard putting green or just wants to get into real mowing in general what do you say to people like that yeah i i my first reaction is definitely count the cost mm -hmm. it is not it, it's not an easy thing to do it's something beautiful it's something that that you have to really love doing uh, as your hobby uh, and and something you enjoy because you really need to if you're gonna do a green you have to mow basically every day, every day. Mm -hmm. right uh, if you're gonna manicure a lawn it, it's still every day every other day at the most one of the important things I always appreciate when people call and they first start looking for how, what they're gonna use to mow and they've got a few choices uh, and Hudson Star is one of them and we try to you know, give them the options that are out there and what they're gonna get with each one. Uh, once they decide that, then they can have the help. There are kits out there, there are people who put in greens. And really this is more than just a greens mower. It's a, it's a pitch mower. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, a space where, where your kids can play. It's, it's short grass, soft. 
uh, uh, lawn bowling has it's taken off, croquet has taken off, uh, grass tennis courts. Yeah. Uh, now baseball fields, uh, people are starting to use new manicure baseball fields. So I, I, I do think it's important for people to, to really take in consideration what they're going to do and the commitment they're going to make to, yeah. to keep their yards that way. Yeah, for sure. Because you've got an initial financial commitment, obviously. Right. Um, this isn't the cheapest mower on the market, but it's also probably the better quality one on the right. market. You know, um, So you get what you're paying for by far. Um, but there's also that time commitment too. If you're going to do something like this, you're like you said, I'm going to be out here every day mowing it. So, And we do tell people, too, that if you're going to do this and you have that commitment, uh, our mower will pay for itself, you know, considering the other options that you have out there, which are very few to get it to a height of a green. Mm -hmm. You're going to re be replacing, fixing, you know, doing maintenance, gas, oil, all those things. And over the course of time, uh, this, this will offset it. For sure. Yeah, so it's a good commitment. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, it's thank my you. pleasure. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, if you are interested in getting a Hudson Star Greens mower, I will leave a link down in the description below. You can get some more information. There's even a discount code there if you're interested in making a purchase. If you have any other questions about putting greens, backyard putting greens, real mowers, Hudson real mowers, let us know down in the comments below. If you like this content, let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. There's plenty more content coming around the putting green at my house. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this one. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. And thanks to John for filming and for providing this lovely backdrop for us today. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for us. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.